Good evening, Sister Mary Luisa. May the Lord bless you. Sister Mary Luisa, I'm going to read in Genesis 4, 13. Yes. And Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Surely you have driven me out this day from the face of the ground. I shall be hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond on the earth, and it will happen that anyone who finds me will kill me. And the Lord said to him, Therefore, Whoever kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. My question, sister, is what is the sign that God placed on Cain? Well, only God knows what that mark was. Now, God placed a mark on him and said, okay, well, the mark on Cain will be... That whoever comes to kill him, but no, because whoever is going to kill him has to have certain traits and maybe perhaps a certain weapon to kill him. And the Lord is the one who puts that in place. And that mark is only something God knows. Like, example, for us, when we put a mark on something to be able to distinguish it between something else so that we are not confused. For example, something really simple. I'm going to give you an example that we use with children. For example, people who travel, the majority of luggages are blue or red. All of the luggages that come out, if a person doesn't place a certain mark or tag it, they don't know which one it is. They start to look, well, which one is it? Until they look at the name and last name. But if you actually put a mark on it, you say, oh, well, the one coming over there, I put something pink on it. That's my luggage. So you put a mark on it to be able to distinguish it. That's such a very easy A childish example, but it's important so that we're able to understand what a mark means. That's it. It's a mark. So only I know what that special mark that was placed on my luggage was. No one else knows. So that is how God is. He placed a mark on Cain that only he, he's the only one who knew what that mark was. So not just any person and not just any man could come and then kill Cain. But rather, it needed to be a particular person, perhaps from a certain town that was tall and strong, that had an athletic build, that had a sword. I'm sure, well, we don't know what that particular mark placed on Cain was so that not just any person would come and kill Cain. So let's assume God said, well, it needs to be a giant gladiator that is going to kill Cain. But then suddenly Cain had a conflict or an argument with someone who was maybe his same height. But the Lord said, no, no, you can't kill Cain because I said it must be a giant and it must be a giant. And so that's just an example that only God, he was the only one who knew what that mark that was placed on Cain was so that he would later be killed. And the Lord also told Cain that whoever kills him, he would take vengeance on this person sevenfold. So it's as if that vengeance carried on continuously. So these are things God does. And we will not question God, nor will we criticize. Everything God does, has done, is doing, and sets in place is respectable.